Well, hi, everyone. Um, I've never done a Facebook Live event. I'm honestly, like, not really on Facebook very much. Um, I prefer, like, Instagram or whatnot. I don't even know. But um, this is kind of fun. I thought I'd do a Facebook Live um, video so that I could talk to you a little bit about what I do as a nutritional therapy practitioner because um, that's pretty new. Um, and a lot of people don't know what a nutritional therapy practitioner is. You hear the, like, um, I guess the acronym is NTP. So that's kind of my certification as a nutritional therapy practitioner. Um, and I guess I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I do because um, it's really cool. Um, a lot of people think about um, medicine in terms of looking at symptoms and like what what's making you uncomfortable or it's kind of messing with your life at the moment, like whether you're having digestive issues or whether you're like really just feeling sick um, in general or fatigued or like really even dealing with autoimmune diseases and more serious diseases or joint pain, whatever it is, like a lot of people look at medicine um, through the eyes of just looking at symptoms. So um, that's mostly actually how I kind of got started in looking at nutritional therapy because I was tired of that approach. I was really sick and I was really hurting in college a lot. Um, I was trying to run track and field and just my body was really failing. Like I could not even run anymore. I'd try and jump and like had to lay in the grass for about five minutes before I could get up and do another jump. So my body was really failing and I was seeing doctors and they really weren't helping. I had several tests done and they came back with just nothing. Um, and so they're like, I just wasn't getting any help. And even prescription medicine I was taking or supplements just were even making it worse. Um, so I started looking into nutrition as um, kind of a way to heal my body, um, which um, kind of got me started on a, another health journey of my own. And finally, I found the Nutritional Therapy Association this year. And that's what I've been doing the last whole year is studying to become a nutritional therapy practitioner. And what we do is instead of looking at symptoms and trying to just like mask symptoms themselves, we look for the root underlying cause of these symptoms. Like, why are you having these issues in the first place? What's your body doing that's making you have these symptoms that are abnormal, right? Like health is normal. Health is what we should have. But if there's underlying causes of or like, or if there's underlying dysfunction in the body, it comes out as symptoms in the body. So a nutritional therapy practitioner looks at um, the, the whole body, the whole system, and tries to understand what is really causing the symptoms. So there's a lot of different ways we can evaluate that. We look at what food you're actually eating and what symptoms might even be caused directly by a food, like if there's a food sensitivity. Um, we also evaluate just um, look at the organs themselves, like is your stomach actually digesting food? Is your liver actually doing what it needs to do to clean up the body? Is your gallbladder even um, like producing bile to digest fats? Um, which if some of these aren't happening, you could be experiencing symptoms that are unpleasant. So as a nutritional therapy practitioner, we evaluate the body. We can do even some like functional testing where we actually look at different reflex points um, that can really help us pinpoint inflammation or dysfunction in the body. And we can address symptoms by actually healing the body, supporting um, organs. Like for example, um, a lot of you may know someone who's had a gallbladder removed. I've known, I know several people who have um, because of kidney stones or other, um, other issues with the gallbladder. Um, and most doctors will just say, yeah, take it out. Like gallbladder's inflamed, bile's not moving, the bile's calcifying, it's getting stuck, um, you're having gallstones, let's, let's take it out. Um, whereas actually addressing the gallbladder through nutrition is super easy. There are powerful foods that can easily thin out bile and help the gallbladder um, release bile and thin it out so you're not having gallstones. Um, and the gallbladder plays a very, very important role in, in digestion. And so to just remove that organ is a terrible, terrible thing that's happening. You, I mean, you see, so I'm sure all of you know someone who's had a gallbladder taken out. So um, anyways, that's just one example of what we would do as a nutritional therapy practitioner. 
um, we look at the foundations of health um, to support you in your health. So those foundations include digestion, making sure your body's digesting food properly. Because if you're not, imagine like your whole body uses raw materials that come into, into your body through food to run everything, everything in your body. And if you're not actually taking those nutrients from the food you eat um, and using them, then your body is going to have dysfunction. Um, so obviously starting with digestion, but then blood sugar regulation, like are you using the energy from food in the right way? Or are you crashing in between meals? Are you um, experiencing a lot of fatigue? Are you having like, do you need sugar all the time just to keep going? Um, are you craving pasta and carbs or sugar, candy, soda, just to get through the day? That's an issue. That means that your body cannot regulate energy levels well. You should be able to fast very easily. Like, I mean, obviously fasting isn't super fun all the time. I love food. I miss food if I'm fasting. But your body should be able to hold energy well through 24 hours. Um, and so skipping a meal here or there or even doing a lengthened fast shouldn't be like, shouldn't be devastating to your body. Um, and on that level, it, you need to learn, teach your body how to use fat as energy, um, which is a slower burning energy than sugar. And sh most of us, especially with today's culture, just rely altogether way too much on sugar for energy when really our bodies are designed to burn fat as energy. Um, and that helps keep our weight better anyways. Um, and a lot of people are so confused about the role of fats in the diet, where fat is so scary and it's dangerous, but it's not. Real fat is very important in helping balance weight um, and helping you use energy in the right way. So that's another foundation of health that nutritional therapists support. Um, hydration, you won't believe how many health issues can just be um, alleviated through drinking water and not only drinking water, but getting the right electrolyte balance. So making sure that your body has the right minerals needed to keep you hydrated. Um, you might drink a ton of water, but are actually not staying hydrated. So that's another thing that's important for for overall health. There's mineral balance, there's fatty acid balance. Um, there's a lot of foundations that we look at as nutritional therapy practitioners to help you actually heal the body and stay healthy instead of just masking symptoms and taking medications for, through the rest of your life. Because I feel like everybody really feels like that's somehow not right, but that's just how our culture is. And um, that's how commercialism is. That's how our media portrays itself, is that we look for masking symptoms instead of building health and wellness. Um, and that's kind of also where my nutrition classes come in as well. Um, the Restart program is a really cool restart, a really cool program that um, a nutritional therapy practitioner actually put together everything that we've learned through the Nutritional Therapy Association and put it into a five-week program for you to be able to learn pretty much what we know within five weeks and to implement the principles um, in like a three-week sugar detox, so helping you get that out energy balanced the right way um, and kind of learning how to incorporate real food into your diet. Um, so that's the restart program that, oops, sorry, um, that I'll be doing come January. And um, the classes are really cool. They're actually capped at just 10 people per class. Um, and that's because they're supposed to be support-based. I keep them really small so that we can um, discuss and I can help you one-on-one -on -one learning how to um, really like improve your diet and like really see how health can change your life um, or sorry how food can change your life um, it's not always easy to learn how to cook using different foods so um, I I help you give you recipes, give you support, give you tips, and also the education. There's a lot of different tests that you can actually do at home to help you know where your health is at, help you, help you know where your digestion is at. Um, so we give you charts, we help you know how to do these tests. Um, the program comes with materials that you can download and save really forever. Um, so this is lists of food that are really good for you and foods that are not good for you. Because believe it or not, there are foods that are not meant to be eaten, that are literally not, like they can't, the body can't use them. Um, and, but food companies have found ways 
to incorporate these chemicals into food so that they last longer on the shelves or they keep their color. Um, but these chemicals are actually not like not good for us. They hurt our bodies. And yet somehow they're allowed to be in our foods, which blows my mind. Um, so the point is to help you getting help you to learn how um, to get real food into your diet, how to cook with real food, and then also how to monitor symptoms, like how food addresses your symptoms that you might be experiencing. So there's a food journal that I, I'll give you that helps you map out, this is what I've been eating, and this is how it affects my, my health or my symptoms. And, hope, and seriously, I want to, like, you wouldn't believe the feedback, too, from a lot of participants. Like, you would be amazed how often it'll change just like how well you sleep, um, how you feel, especially after you eat, that you don't feel sluggish after you eat, which is a huge thing, huge thing. If you feel really tired after you eat, when you've taken energy into your body, that's definitely not, something's not happening right. So um, with the restart program, we want to switch that. We want you to feel energized and like, lively, not lively, that's like a weird word for it, but just energized after you eat. Um, so that's a huge difference. Like you'll be surprised how easy it is to like get to a healthy weight if you're just eating the right foods, eating foods that are actually nourishing to you. Um, so just, I mean, if any of you have questions about it, you can also reach out to me kind of what the, pro what the program's meant to do or how it can help you. I've had quite a few of you say like, is this program right for me? I'm not sure this is what I'm experiencing. Just reach out to me. You can message me through Facebook or email me at amy at everyday wholehearted. Um, I, I feel really strongly that this is super needed for our culture and our families because you see so, I mean, the diseases that are on the rise today, especially in children, is terrifying. Like the number of kids with autism and childhood diabetes, um, the amount of just inflammation that you see in children and in our families is really scary. Like heart disease, um, joint pain, arthritis, fibromyalgia, all of these um, diseases can be so, so, so helped through nutrition, really lead and supported where you're experiencing minimal, minimal symptoms, even though you might have this underlying disease. Um, I know several people who've been able to heal many of their symptoms of disease that they were diagnosed with just through nutrition. So this restart program doesn't necessarily, it doesn't diagnose or treat disease, but we do um, help you support the foundations of health and learn how to start your own health journey, recognizing symptoms, recognizing how to improve those symptoms through actually healing the body itself. Um, so that's the restart program. That's a little bit about what I do through the new, through nutritional therapy. Um, I thought I'd just introduce that a little bit to you and invite you if you are interested, or even if even if you're interested just a little bit, be, um, I would reach out to me and ask me about it because classes are capped and the last day to enroll will be early January. Um, and so you don't want to wait too long and just miss out on these classes just because um, the classes are capped so I can keep the in an intimate support group that you guys can get the education and support that you want um, to really improve your health just through food. So um, again, thanks for tuning in if you've been here. I know this is kind of short Facebook Live. I don't know really how to do Facebook very well, but I hope I answered some of the questions that you've had. Again, message me about questions, or if you just want to enroll and then message me later, you can go to nourishfamilynutrition.com. Um, and that's where my classes are listed. You can actually look at times that they're offered. I have two online. So you can actually, well, you can be anywhere in the world and we can do class, you can do classes with me. Or there's one in Provo where I live um, and you can come in person. I know there's several people already signed up in that one. So jump on that one. If you're here local, I highly encourage you to enroll for the one here so I can work with you in person. Um, Online is still great, but there's something really good about being able to meet in person and get that support and discover a new tribe that can support you in your journey in this whole foods world. So anyways, um, I just love you guys so much. Thanks for, I saw quite a few of you that I love um, on here tuning in for a little bit. So thanks for joining me. Um, hopefully I'll see a lot of you soon. If you have any questions, just let me know. So anyways, good seeing you all.